is the season of university applications. Applications are pretty daunting, especially when you've only just started the application process. So many universities with so many programs to apply to. The options seem nearly endless. Luckily, you are not alone, and there is a resource out there that aims to help you in all of your application endeavors. Education Planner BC is a public service that aims to improve access to universities and post-secondary institutions in British Columbia by allowing learners to explore and learn about the admissions process. The planner acts as a resource for people who need to learn more about the post-secondary application process in British Columbia so that anyone who uses Education Planner BC has accurate and relevant information. The planner is laid out into three main sections. Plan, search, and apply. The plan tab allows students to gather information about different programs, institutions, and opportunities so they may plan out their entire educational journey. The search feature on Education Planner BC allows users to find many different university programs from many different post-secondary schools in British Columbia, as well as other post-secondary programs. Finally, the Apply feature allows students to apply to one or more university institutions by creating an Education Planner BC account. Let's take a look into what I would argue is the most useful feature of the Planner, the Plan tab. The first section within the Plan feature is the Getting Started tab. This entire section offers the details and information to help get users started on the post-secondary application journey and has many subsections to help make the research process easier. The first of these subsections is the Plan for Success tab and it lays out a step-by-step to-do list on the best way to learn more about universities in British Columbia, what programs they have to offer, and how to apply once the options have been narrowed down. The next subsection in the Getting Started tab is the People of Post-Secondary feature. Here, there is specific and relevant information for every type of person and student, such as high school grads, indigenous students, international students, adult learners, transfer students, academic advisors, and parents, so that every person who might need to use Education Planner BC has a place to go. For example, the International Students tab gives more information on the basics of Canadian post-secondary requirements and goes into detail about English being the language of instruction, study permits in Canada, health insurance in BC, and advisors at academic institutions. Overall, every type of user has a place in the planner, with so much information at their disposal that makes the application process significantly easier. The Glossary section within the Getting Started tab allows for users to do research based on the experience or information they already have, or do research based on the specific aspect of the post-secondary application process that they want to learn more about. After you have gone through the beginning stages of the planning process and getting started, the next set of tabs in the Plan division fall under the Apply section. Here, you can learn more about application planning, transcripts, what happens after you apply, and how to register for institutions. We'll get to the actual application process near the end of the video. The next tab within Plan is the Finance section. This section covers more information about the different types of finances that come with post-secondary learning, such as the cost of education and the types of expenses that come with it, student financial assistance, scholarships and bursaries, and money tips so students know the best ways to save their money. The study section offers more information about student services, study tips, co-op education programs, program completion planning, disability or accessibility services, and work experience. The work tab gives users more details about career assessments, career centers and alumni services, job search resources, and career opportunities for international students. Here, international students can learn more about the permits required for working and the Postgraduate Work Permit, or the PGWP for short. That wraps up the plan feature of Education Planner BC. No matter what type of student, learner, or user you are, Education Planner BC has resources and information for you to use, making it an exceptionally useful tool in the post-secondary application process. 
Next, let's take a look at the search feature. The search function allows users to search for the programs and universities that might interest them the most. They can search for anything from keywords that will lead them in the right direction to specific programs at specific universities. If you want to learn more about the search feature, I encourage you to check out Education Planner BC to see what you can find that interests you. Finally, let's go over the actual application process that can be done through the planner with the main Apply tab. The application instructions for so many post-secondary institutions are clearly laid out in a step-by-step -step process, so anyone with an account for the planner can apply to one or more universities at a time. When first finding the Apply tab, the user will be asked to sign up for an Education Planner BC account or log in with an existing account. To complete your profile, you will be asked to provide some personal information, some contact information, and some academic history. Once these have been filled out, you can continue the application process. From here, you will select the institution you wish to apply to, complete the application, then finally review and submit what you have. With that, the application process is complete, all thanks to Education Planner BC.